Well, thank you, Mark. It's now time to talk food. And with Memorial Day coming in just a few weeks, we're offering you a simple yet patriotic idea that you can serve to family and friends. Today's Lost Creek Care Center food segment involves just three simple ingredients. They're Andy's favorites. I really like these three <laughs> ingredients. Maybe a little whipped cream would spice it up. but This is exciting. very simple. What we're doing is we've got three fruits. Can you guys identify those? A guava, <laughs> pear, and squash. Blackberries? Close, very close. <laughs> it looks like strawberries, you know, kind of looks like a guava. Strawberry. That's right. Two types of berries? Blueberries, which okay. I guess blackberries, that was kind of close. He's just not... In New Jersey, they do their colors different. <laughs> yeah. And then there's banana there on the end. And so what we're gonna do, if you guys haven't identified it by now, these are our patriotic colors, red, white, and blue. How about that? Yeah. We live in America. And so what we're going to do is we have some skewers here, and we are actually going to make some kebabs, fruit kebabs, and then we're gonna shape them in the shape of an American we're gonna flag. Oh, well, we're not we're gonna, gonna shape lay, the kebabs. No, we're gonna lay them down and create an American flag out of that. So you got it started here. You will need these kebabs. Yes, we do have it started just so you can start to get an idea. And what we have- We're missing the Midwest. We have our, of course, red and white stripes that are Thank going you. on. And then this will be our blue up here. And so we'll make a few more kebabs and see where we land. You wanna start with red, Andy. <laughs> oh. Yes. So we should remind you that Thank there you. are 13 stripes total. Representing what, Zach? <laughs> Representing the 13 colonies. Can you name them? Seven red, six white is what we're shooting for. So yeah, you'll want to start with the strawberries. We need Mark for some history on this. Yeah, he would he be probably, great for this. Mark, yeah, he oh, would. Oh, lost strawberry. He's probably made many fruit kebab flags in his <laughs> day. So. I think that's a safe assumption. <laughs> I might help you out here. Does it matter if I do the strawberry up or down? No, and you know, this is really a chance for you to be creative. Maybe you have kids <laughs> at home and you just want to do a fun project and teach them Remind them about the uh, flag. That's a good idea. You know, this is a great way to do it. And of course, you get to eat it in the end. And it's also healthy. You were saying that you like fruit, Andy. I do like fruit. Yeah. Smoothies and... Or you can eat it as you go. Anything. That's what I've been By doing. itself. Blueberries are the best, though. That's my favorite berry. I like rasp, blue, straw, <laughs> black. I'm going to put some blueberries on here and create the blue... You get the good part, huh? ...part. Yes, blueberries oh, I are. You've gone two mine. red in a row there, Matt. You're no, no, there's was, a little banana got, in there. You do have two white stripes. I got two in a bananas row. in a row. Oh, there please. are two bananas. Yeah. <laughs> and the bananas are slippery. They're a little bit hard. confused. I'm not trying to touch every banana. So One that. snuck in there, huh? Yeah. Those bananas. And we did discover something earlier. Ah! Our bananas. Stabbed myself with a skewer. Trying so hard not to do that. Be careful. They're really sharp. They're sharp there at the I didn't top. expect that. Our bananas two, that three, we're using four, actually weren't quite fully ripe yet, but we discovered that actually makes it a little bit easier if you can stomach not ripe bananas because they go on the, the skewer that much better. They're not as sloppy as you might. It's kind of hard to get 13 layers on this. Thing. It is. These are, yeah, I have a, so that's another tip efficient. for you. The longer One, the two, skewers, three, the better four, five, because six. these are a bit short. And so let's get two let's more here. How did I do? It looks, mm, looks good. Seven. So you can lay it down no, there. It's only six. Oh, six red. But that's all I got. I mean, okay. we're out of room. That, that is the case we have right now. We have short skewers, and so we may not get the full stripes. I got them all on there. But we'll try <laughs> Good to. Good job, Andy. I squished that it. That looks like a true kebab and right So there. if you put a few more uh, banana and red on there, we can finish out our flag, and we'll show the viewer. Don't <laughs> eat food that hits the floor, <laughs> kids. Banana down. Dangerous. Salmonella. Salmon. <laughs> How many more? Uh, one yeah, more banana more. and one more strawberry, and we yeah. will call it complete. This is not going to be a. Uh, Are we going to get 50 blueberries in there? No. Oh. And so we'd like to see pictures of yours at home if you do this. Okay, so I'll raise this up just a little bit. This is going to be raise the flag. Very, very rough. You salute. You can see the blue up in the top left and our red and white stripes. They're celebrating Memorial Day. And we do want to take a moment and say thank you to all of those of you out there with either fi family members mm. or just if those of you have served in our armed forces now or in the past, we say thank you to you and God bless to you as we are all very grateful here at TV44. You certainly are. Without a doubt. Thank you for your service and your family's service as yes. well. So what do you guys think? That was fun. I it. Yeah. It was so, good. Yeah. Sounds like yeah, a Memorial Day it. tradition on the way. Yeah. For these so. friends, every, every year we're going to make these. Maybe yeah. we will. Yeah, I think that'd be a good start to one. Well, we can finish it off. So while we're working on this edible work of art, we're going to move on to some other amazing examples of art now, courtesy of a recent art show including one unique style that involves kitchen utensils. Uh, Jennifer introduces us to New Knoxville artist Gary Like skewers? Be careful with those. Oh, I'm sorry. 